happy birthday as well. You always find the latest courtyard. Even in solution. Hey. In out of the box. Hello and welcome to Radio Waves by Totterbird. If you enjoy reviews, comparisons, band scans of new and classic portable radios, then make sure to subscribe and tap the bell icon so you miss any of my most excellent videos. In front of us we have the Prunus J05. This is an AM FM weather band portable radio. You can get this off Amazon between $27 and $30. They're kind of changing the price a little bit because it just came out with it. So here's the box it came in. Shows AM FM weather band. Pretty cool looking design. And I think the box is fairly simple. Let's see if they got anything on the back here. And we'll go ahead and open this up and take everything out. Same on the back. Okay, so let's go ahead and open this up. Always looking for a really nice uh, battery AC powered unit. And that's what this is. Take that off. The bubble wrap it really nice. And I think I got everything out. Let's take a look in the box. Oh, there's a manual down in there. Can I get it? There it is. Okay, put the box to the side here. Okay, so first things first, uh, let's see what they give us. I'm gonna move this and we're gonna go down a little bit. Okay, we get an AC cord. Nice thing about this is it's high quality, um, 18 gauge. Um, you know, it means something. Uh, I bought a cheap, inexpensive radio that was AC powered and it came with a cord that was like, danger, don't plug it in. It was so thin. So yeah, it's important to have proper uh, cabling, especially on the AC line. So there we go. Uh, next, we have the manual. Manual. Uh, yeah, it's pretty basic. I don't think we really need to look at it, but I will show it to you regardless. Get precautions. You got your functions there, which we'll go over, of course. Power supply. Don't mix batteries. We all know that. We know what happens when you do that. <laughs> uh, they had headphones and, of course, reception. All right, so there you are. Let's go ahead and take a look at the radio. This it comes nice, but nicely bubble wrapped, which is great. Go ahead and use the handle here. Throw that to the side. All right, get this front and center. I like that fold down handle. Nice. Yeah, it's got a really nice look, real sleek. Um, I like the design as far as that's concerned. So dimensions, uh, nine inches from the tuning knob to the end here. We're five and a quarter inches in height. And then we have a depth of two and a quarter inches. This kind of reminds me of the Sony, I want to say, uh, I'll put a little note here. I can't think of the model number offhand, but it has the AM, FM weather band. And it has the same kind of handle, recesses in there. So there you are. Oh, it's a little size comparison. I'll bring this up. And I brought out a competitor that people probably want to see it next to. And this is the Sony 506. Now there's a big difference in price. Um, I don't know if I get any higher on the camera. We'll try. These radios are big. There we go. Um, so yeah, the 506 here is like a $45 radio versus like 27. And they even have a coupon sometimes that gets you down to like $24. Pretty good deal. And this doesn't have weather band. This does. This takes D cells too, which we're going to show you. This only takes double A batteries. Uh, bonus is that this uh, sounds a little bit better and it has AC, just to give you an idea. AC uh, cord. And it, and it actually has a, a better tuner, but we'll get to that. But that's the Sony, uh, almost twice the price. And let me just kind of flip that up so you get an idea for size. There you go. So almost the same width. All right, we'll go ahead and lower this back down. Bring out a deck of cards to give you an idea of what that looks like. And then we'll move to features. All right, so I think I got Iron Man. Well, first we got the Skywave. I always like to bring that out. There's the current time, 10, 12 p.m. Central Standard Time near Chicago when I do my band scan. Here's the deck of cards. Give you an idea. Pretty much fits where that speaker's at. There you go. Get a general idea. All right, so let's talk about features of the Prunus J05. What's exciting about this radio? First thing, the weather band. Uh, really awesome to see that. Two, dual power, AC-DC, another cool feature. Um, I always test it now. <laughs> Plug the AC cord in to make sure there's no buzzing or humming or static on the line, and it performs great on the AM band, FM, and of course, weather band. So no issues there. Left-hand side, we have a headphone jack, yay. Uh, it's 
FM mono, both ears, so no stereo. Um, the sound's actually very good, a lot of mids. Um, and expect a decent listening experience on AM. I only noticed a low level uh, hiss when, it's, when the volume was down almost to the bottom. So you won't really have trouble with headphones if you decide to use them. The speaker here behind the metal speaker grill is four inches. We got Prunus J05. And here is our scale. It's a little hard to see. If you notice that pointer there, that it actually is red. I'm gonna move my light over if you can see that. That's a little bit better. Um, it's kind of dim, it's a little harder to see. We have a log scale there, we have some uh, lines, and then of course we have the weather band, AM and FM off to the left there. Okay, it's showing you our tuning knob and volume is of course. Here's our band selector, we have AM, FM, and weather band. So we'll leave it on weather band, because we'll check that out. Over here we have the tuning knob. I noticed uh, the knobs aren't quite uh, centered, like when you're turning them, they tend to look a little off-center. I don't know if you'll get to see that in the video. It's not a big deal, but I noticed it can, you know, if you're obsessive compulsive, that might bother you if you saw that. Uh, it's a little off center. There, you can kind of see it there. And I think it's just how it's designed. There's a volume on off wheel here. Top has a really nice recessed handle. I do like this. Um, that's a great design. Glad to see it. Uh, the antenna, 20 inches and extends out, uh, or sorry, extends out 20 inches and of course swivels 360 degrees. Even has a little notch. So you can get those stations. So I'm gonna put that back in. Go to the back real quick here. So we got the vented case. We got a nice grip right here. That is a great design. You know, I hope other radio companies see that and go, that's cool. Put a nice handle in, plus put a nice grip in. Uh, very nice. Uh, here we have a battery compartment. There's three D cell batteries. These batteries are all facing this direction for the positive terminal to the radio's left. So positive. And then there's three D cells here, and they all, all the positives point to the left of the radio when looking at it from the back side. I would try to open this up on camera, but it can be tricky. Uh, if you notice, the AC input is on the back versus the side. Um, it depends on where you're using it. On a desk, this is great. Against uh, a short uh, shelf, say in a kitchen, it's not so great because it gets in the way. You'd rather have it on the side if it was going to be in a kitchen environment. But on a desk environment, this is really nice having it come out the back. All right, so that's that. I think it has what, some caution there. And of course, some band information. Your AM's 520, 1710, FM, weather band. Okay, so we're gonna talk about FM reception and then we'll turn the radio on and go to the weather band and do some FM audio. So the first thing about FM reception report, I like to do it, it's a five tier method. You guys probably know this by now if you've watched any of my videos. Uh, it starts out with fair and goes to excellent, so five tiers. Most analog radios, um, run about 48 stations found. This is a DSP radio. It tends They tend to be better um, at finding stations on FM, but this particular one didn't do so great. It did a little bit above average at 53 stations found with an okay to good rating still. So a two and a half star rating. It's an average FM receiver. It locks on the stations, but the problem is if you get a strong station, it takes a while for it to go away as you turn the dial. So you'll have a station here and you'll be turning and turning and turning until that station is gone. So you know you're missing some faint stations in between or nearby stations. So something to keep in mind. Also FM selectivity gets an okay to good score because of that effect. Um, so let's go, let's see, uh, talk about strong stations, eating up the dial. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and turn this on the weather band. Now with the antenna extended, we're in a basement. I don't know what I'll get down here, we'll give it a try. But upstairs, I was able to get five stations, which rates this as a really good radio for a weather band.
slight breathing spread through early evening. Then so there you go, five stations came in clear there. Really nice to hear them all. Showers through early evening. Then chance of Channel snow 7 makes Chicago, fives in Crystal Wave Lake. Three to five feet. Thursday. Cloudy. Chance of low hair, it was cloudy. The temperature was 21 degrees. So there you go, a nice little weather band radio, loving it, and it, the reception is great. So if you're looking for a nice weather band radio on the cheap, um, this is definitely, I'm already getting final thoughts, definitely one to think of because it's under 30 bucks and it runs on AC. I do like that, and it's new construction, and you get a course of warranty with it. So let's go ahead and talk about, uh, or actually talk about, let's go tune in FM. Um, I'm going to put my antenna back down because we're just going to go right to Radio Todd Herbert on 92.9. And what that is, that's my FM transmitter. I keep it handy right over here. See Crane, holy crud. <laughs> Almost knocked both Sony over. That'd have been fun. Uh, here we go, See Crane FM transmitter two, transmitting on 92.9 megahertz over to this radio with some royalty free music so we can hear what the audio sounds like. So let's tune that in and then we'll go to the uh, daytime, or excuse me, even, evening medium wave band. So turn this on. Above. Lowest wind chill reading five below to fifty. Go to FM. idea of the audio when you compare it to my other videos you can get a general idea of the sound now i feel that this speaker has got a lot of mids to it some decent highs um lows are not really there's what you'd expect but not bad not too tin you could definitely listen to this all day long without uh, ear fatigue so let's go ahead and go to the am band we'll go to the bottom we'll see what this thing can pick up now during the day i noticed this radio is just picking up my locals and some of my semi-locals and so to get some of those, I kind of had to tune back and forth, especially if there was a strong station near that weaker station. It was kind of a little bit of a, a juggle with the dialing, uh, dialing, <laughs> tuning at the dial. Um, definitely uh, interesting to tune. This radio is really good in urban environments. Say you live uh, near a city or near a lot of radio stations. If you live in the boonies, it may or may not be an issue. Um, I haven't been able to take this out further away from strong stations. You might start picking up fainter stations with it. Um, I've noticed I've said that before with radios that they only work on local semi and then somebody gets this radio and lives in the boonies and has really good luck so chances are you might do fine so let's go ahead 
Put it on AM. Shard the bottom. See what it does in the evening. I haven't really done much of an evening scan. I'm going to turn off my transmitter. MP3 player. Okay, great. Should be on AM. Yeah, we'll start tuning this. Let's see if we can pick up any long distance stations. Current time 10:23 p.m. Central Standard Time, Chicago, Illinois. Just getting a hint, hint of a 5.30 CHLO, Brampton, Ontario, which is about 441 miles away. Here's a 5.40 WAUK, Jackson, Wisconsin, 70 miles away, 400 watts at night. And she was saying cheers or congratulations to Andy. Here's 560 WIND, Chicago. DOJ wasn't going to prosecute him. That's the kind of mature attitude you'd expect from a DOJ lawyer, right, Dean Kane? Uh, yeah, it's certainly not the nonpartisan. No, Bernie, Bernie Sanders is not a blip on his radar. Um, they are happy and satisfied with President Trump, and their vote isn't going anywhere. Do they like when he tweets, when that news information finally gets to them? No. Well, that's nice. 570 WNAX, Yankton, South Dakota. 460 miles, 5,000 watts. That's a surprise. person that most has their back on um, um, and, and that's what's important to them. They do. For better, I think uh, uh, John Donnelly is paying, paying, paying attention to everything she's saying. So the play is FBI alarm. Okay, it might have bounced back to 560, which it sounds like. Mm -hmm. page text that you are performing Happens. at CPAC next week with Christy Swanson. We love Christy Swanson. We just got all the we can. Here's um, probably KXSP, Omaha, Nebraska, 405 miles, 5,000 watts. What the? Okay, I don't usually get Hispanic music. It must have jumped to 640 right away. Yeah, I'll bet you it did. So let's go check 640. Yep. WMFN, K2 in Illinois, 75 miles away, 1600 watts. That we bore the burden and carry away this offer. Here's a 650 WSM, Nashville, Tennessee, 434 miles. Or maybe not. I do not know where I'm at. Okay, so the thing about this radio, some of these DSPs, they bounce back and forth as you tune it. It went backwards <laughs> from 640 to 630. We're, we're listening to, I believe, if it's, uh, let's see. It really sounds like KYFI, St. Louis, Missouri, 275 miles, 5,000 watts, a religious station. There's a country music station on uh, 630 also, CFCO in Chatham, Ontario. Okay. World stood still. I'm Eddie Stubbs. Good evening to you. We're glad that you're with us here tonight as we continue now with Don Williams in a song called Mistake. There you go, WSM 650 Nashville. Glad to see it. Uh, 434 miles. Glad to hear it. <laughs> oh, you crazy. Not the first guy. One of the other things that I don't think Rob Manfred expected 
Uh, I don't. Here's 670 to score, Chicago. The Astros. WSCR. When he did that back in uh, January, now it's been a month. When the first. When the first. With the 11:30 report on Sean Gallagher breaking now. Six Democrats tonight battled it out. We jump right to 700. With the attention turned to the former mayor of New York. So here's WLW Cincinnati. Uh, this is 300 miles. Comer on stage, Michael Bloomberg taking it from the very and Brett Howden a second time. The Hawks power play unable to cash in. 720 WGN Chicago. How it would finish. So on to period number three, we went and it would be one with lots of red lights lighting or red lamps lighting. <laughs> Music here on Zoomer Radio is CFZM 740, Toronto, Ontario, 460 miles. I always seem to find it with these radios, which is awesome. while Villanova beats DePaul. In business, Dow up 116 points. CBS News update. Six Democratic hopefuls, including Michael yeah, I think Bloomberg, he's making a the jump right from Vegas tonight in a contentious debate. CBS's Steve Futterman joins us live. But for two hours... Yeah, it's making a jump right from 740 to 780. This is 780 WBBM Chicago, which it jumps over WJR Detroit, Michigan. With a little bit of finagling with the tuner, you might be able to get WJR. Fat broads and horse-faced lesbians. And no, I'm not talking about Donald Trump. I'm talking about Mayor Bloomberg. Bloomberg was also attacked. Now there is good news. Holy Prevagen cow. is the number one pharmacist recommended memory support brand. So you can safely take care of yourself with confidence. Prevagen, healthier brain, better life. 2019 Pharmacy Times Survey. Statements have not been evaluated by the FDA. This product is not intended to treat, cure, or prevent any disease. I'm Chris Riccobono, founder of Untuck. So just keep tuning and you'll find 760. There's WGR, Detroit, Michigan, 270 miles. What the frick? <laughs> the, the joys of tuning radio. It's for all shapes and Modern radios, that is. Look sharp, even at your most casual. Try the original Untuck shirt at one of 85 and Injustice. WBBM's Mike Krauser, the former governor's news conference. Supporters, neighbors, the curious, and a massive number of journalists and photographers gathered outside the... You can hear you multiple steps, so sometimes you, you know, your other station gets buried in those steps, and you got to go back and forth to find it. Um, on FM, it's a lot worse. That's why the FM reception report wasn't fantastic. And defiant. I'm returning home today from a long but exile. It's good if you, if you like listening to local stations. It really is nice. Locks on, stays on selected me governor i didn't let you down i would have let you down if i gave in to peace your next domestic flight could be a special treat airlines are putting some of their biggest jets the ones to fly mainly across the pacific into north american service temporarily planes were pulled from their china routes due to the coronavirus larry kofsky right to 840 whas yeah so you can kind of get an idea how this is going to tune have the right tool this is louisville kentucky 400 miles of Sorry, 300 miles. NetSuite by Oracle gives you the tools you need to accelerate your growth. With NetSuite, you get a full picture of your business. Finance, inventory, <laughs> so I was trying to go back just a little bit from 860. It passed 840 up when I was going back. Totally missed it. <laughs> it's at 820. So there you go. So if you don't hear your station as you go through forward, go back and you'll find it. This is uh, 820 WBAP, Fort Worth, Texas, 810 miles. I'm talking about Mel Bloomberg. It jumps right to 860. <laughs> Forgetting about 840. That's hilarious. Um, this is CJBC, Toronto, Ontario, 460 miles. I know I went forward. <laughs> this is 830. WCCO, Minneapolis, Minnesota, 310 miles. It's the ghost in the machine. I should call this. <laughs> nope, ain't you, Doc. You know, in some ways it was symptomatic of the whole 
p.m. and 4 p.m. with 890 WLS. There you go, 890 WLS. Jumped all the way up. Here, the Mark Levin Show. Call in at 8. How much you want to bet this is 880? I know I went the right way. Okay, there it is. I heard rural Nebraska, so yeah, KRVN. You don't hear that too often on 880. Lexington, Nebraska, 605 miles. Sweet. Well, that was a nice little find <laughs> out of the ether. Awesome. Theory, really, because it may be a conspiracy, but it certainly isn't a theory. Mike Flint was. I'm just gonna go up the dial now. You include LeBron. Four of the years they ended up making the. There's. Do you realize how much this Dan Gilbert didn't do anything right? Didn't do it. At any time, other than spending, this way. buy one set of sheets, one set of luxurious Giza sheets. And so that ran over 220 episodes between 1949. A newspaper comic strip that ran for more than 30 years. Dozens of adventure novels and comic books, a video game, and hundreds of various toys, and seven feature films. And in one of the lesser-known connections, the Lone Ranger spot a popular spin-off property, wherein, according to the original radio program, Dan, the Lone Ranger's nephew, who appeared in both the radio... In Camden, Mike DiNardo, KYW News Radio. Floodwaters continue... There you go, KYW. Mississippi with 1060. more rain. The Pearl River, which runs through Jackson, continues to rage, despite cresting in more than... Oh, it's Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, 700 miles. Not a bad AM receiver. I mean, it pick, it's picking up the stations nicely. Says the water is slowly receding after causing damage. I'll tell you that we do not expect that the water level... ...heard of this, Pastor Paul. 2020 BX-12, they said, oh, it's coming close. Close cosmic shave. And they're going, oh, this is really cool. It's just going to come by. Is that about Flynn? What was he saying about Flynn? Or is it the same thing they were saying about that 2014 meeting? Flynn's colluded with the Russians. And the FBI, according to has to implied interest in demand for They're just, ladies and gentlemen, she captured the photo, Daddy Broom. So you get the general idea. Okay, we're the top of the band. The Republicans came close in 1976 in Kansas City when Ronald Reagan mounted a. Yeah, man, do that. You just need to a right now for your complimentary bottle of Nugenix, the number one selling free testosterone booster at GNC. Plus, text now and we'll include a bottle of new Nugenix Thermo, our most powerful fat incinerator ever. To help get you back into shape fast. Absolutely free. There you go. It goes to 1700. Not bad. Okay. So, the Prunus J05. Does it get recommended by? Uh, maybe. Um... Yeah, it, it does quite a bit. Uh, it's it's well made. It has decent audio. Um, the headphone jack is okay. Uh, I like that. Um, the weather band, getting five channels. Uh, that's a pretty impressive thing. And I'm downstairs in the basement with the little antenna um, 
really enjoying that uh, for weather weather band radio um, FM. I mean, the stations that you like are going to come in nice and clear. Um, again, the strong locals uh, and strong semi-locals are going to boom in and you're going to lose any sensitivity on the finer stations. Um, you might want uh, a better receiver on that respect, maybe like a digital receiver, but then you got to save up some money. Now, this comes in at a good price point, around 26 27 bucks if you can get it for that price. I'd recommend it at that price for sure all day long. The AM band, yeah, it can be finicky as you saw with the dial. It might just be an evening thing because during the day it didn't quite do that jumping thing that I noticed it was doing in the evening. So during the day, uh, you'll be able to find your strong locals with no issues. So yeah, the Prunus G05 gets a recommended buy for a budget radio, weather radio, definitely when it's under 30 bucks. Um, it's definitely a great radio to consider. Um, also, the Sony ICF-19 is a good one, but the only thing with that is it runs on 3Ds like this one does, but it doesn't have an AC option. This has an AC option, which I find fantastic. That, that's the bonus right there. This company is, is really thinking it out with the three bands and then doing AC and DC operation. I'm really happy with this. So there it is, my recommendation. Uh, Prunus J05 gets a big vote for me. Hope you enjoyed this video. Um, two, if you like the Prunus brand, you check out my videos of a playlist over here. Subscribe and hit the bell icon. Get notified of future Prunus radios. I actually started collecting these. I, I kind of like them. I think they're doing a good job. They're listening to their uh, they're listening to feedback from the users, which is really nice. They'll make changes accordingly. I, I love that. And of course, three, comment below what you think about the Prunus J05. Now, I think there's like a Retekis, uh, I don't know if I'm saying 604, I reviewed. Uh, the AM band, it was making popping sounds and crackling sounds. This doesn't do that, and I like the fact that it doesn't. I don't mind the jumping back and forth a little bit. That might just be a little backlash on the dial here, because this is kind of a snug tuning experience. But it puts it where, you know, when you stop, it stays there. You can't bump it accidentally, which is nice. So I'm going on and on. But this is a great radio for the price. If the price is around, you know, 27 28 bucks. anything more, there's a lot of competition out there. All right, guys, hope you enjoyed the video. Take care, and we'll see you soon.